hello what's up today in this video i want to show you how you can start building your email list you know email list is one of the most important way you can market your product that is the most stable way you can market your product because if you talk about facebook account is not reliable your account can be disabled at any time but if you have an email list you can always promote your product to your subscribers at any time and although some people will be unsubscribing as some people are going you will also be adding more people it's more reliable than any other platform and you can have as many as possible depends on how much you can invest into it it's, it's more reliable than any other platform so i'm going to tell you how you can start building your own email list now if you have not yet gotten my course i suggest that you get it before the price goes up let's go let's get started now there are email marketing platform that are available in the market and the choice of which one you are going to use depends on what you want to do and your budget now we have mailship and we have get response we have a weber let me tell you the the pro and the cons of these three in mailship you can have up to 1000 subscribers in your free account and the free account is is not limited it, you don't have a date so you can always have your free account as long as your subscribers are within 1000 your free account will be running but the only disadvantage with mailship is that they are very meticulous with a little mistake they can disable your account and they don't like affiliate marketing so don't promote affiliate marketing on mailship what you can do is always direct people to your website then put your affiliate link on your website don't put your affiliate link in the mails and don't attach image to your mails that's the disadvantage of mailship if not the free version is, is very good it helps beginners then number two is get response get response has a um, 30 day free trial after that you can now start your paid version and their service is also very good but the disadvantage is that since maybe if you are a beginner you may want to because if you don't have up to 1000 subscribers maybe you have about 200 subscribers you are paying the same amount that somebody that have 1000 subscribers is paying that is cheating so i suggest if you don't have up to 1000 subscribers yet you can just be uh, managing mailship since their own is free until you, you have up to 1000 subscribers then you can now start paying i think it's, it's wiser then a web also have a 30 days free trial you can be using that for 30 days but the challenge is that their paid version only allow you to have 500 subscribers for at the rate of 19 dollars which is very expensive but their service is very good i love them 
their service is good but they are a bit expensive so as a beginner i prefer you start with mailship first then if you want to create your account on mailship you will just you can just type it on google or i'm going to provide the link in the description all right now this is it you just hit sign up and you are just going to type in your details here i believe you can do all this i'm not going to do this one now because i've already done my own so once you fill your your details and hit sign up your account have been created successfully now once i've done that let's go to the next stage now if you have successfully sign up the next thing you will do is to log in into your account and start setting your account so i will show you now how you can set your account let's get started once you log in in your dashboard you are going to click on this audience then you click on sign up forms if you click on sign up forms then you will click on this setting and you are going to click on audience name and default then this is where you are going to set your your audience name this name is going to appear in your form so the, your subscribers will see this and make sure it's what you want your subscribers to see this is the name of the audience the subscribers are subscribing to then this is your email this is the email that all the mails you are going to send will come from that is from email and this email have to be a domain and that means you are going to have a website and create an email from that your website I'm, I will show you on how to do all that and once you have gotten that your, your professional email I have a video that shows how to create a professional email like this which will be at your domain.com and you will now feel all these I think these are the most important thing and another important thing is that you are going to check this enable double opt-in this is because some people are not serious they just want to know what to happen after they type their email so that in most cases they don't type their they just type fake emails and by the time you start sending mail to those people they will, the email will bounce and the more email that bounce the more you your domain starts losing integrity if the bounce rate is high the mails you'll be sending subsequently will not will no longer go into inbox of your subscribers it will go into spam folders the mail delivery engine will now see as if you copy those email from the internet so that is why you need to use double opt-in so that they will have to go back to their email to confirm it makes sure it gives you genuine subscribers it enables you to have genuine subscribers and those who are really serious with what they are doing so that your email will have a higher delivery rate that's why you need to check this enable double opt-in and once you have done that next thing you will do is to set up your forms your opt-in forms this is where they are going to type in their emails and other details and this is it here you will click on this form builder
now if you click on the form builder you are going to see other things that are here all you need to do is to delete those ones as mean i want to delete this i want to delete this uh, phone number now i will just click on this minus and it will ask me to type in this delete to confirm that i want to delete it you just type delete in capital letter and you hit delete so once you delete other ones it will not be the ones the the details you want to require from your subscribers if you have done that the next thing is how you can place it on your website to start collecting uh, your subscribers now how do you do that to do that just click, click on that sign up form again and you are now going to use this embed forms if you click on that embed forms you will see a bunch of code you see this code so you are going to copy this code and paste on your insta builder i normally use insta builder with mailchimp because it works better i tried using it with um, elemental one time it didn't work well so i prefer using it with insta builder so you will copy this code and paste it in your insta builder i will show you in my subsequent videos where you can paste it and once you have done that the next thing is to start designing your landing page so this form will now appear on your landing page where people can type in their emails and other details so that they now become your subscribers you can now promote your product to them i think this is the much we can take in this video thank you for watching this video bye